So this is our artist. Uh, his name is Gareth Lucas, and he is an, an illustrator. Um, he has he does a lot of illustrations um, that are bright and beautiful. You can see these cats here. So he takes abstract colors and adds them to his characters. Things that I want you to recognize right now in this picture, this inspiration picture, the necks are very, very long on his cats, as well as the colors are abstract, and then the expressions on the faces, because we'll be choosing an expression once we move on here. Okay, first set. Make the letter U and a line on top, and this is gonna create the head. That same shape is gonna happen again, but it's gonna be much smaller. It's kind of the muzzle of the mouth. So it's within that first shape and much smaller down towards the bottom. Is it Garrett Lucas? Garrett. G-A-R-E-T-H. I'm looking at some of his drawings. Yeah, awesome, right? Mm -hmm. Are you on Instagram? Yeah. Yep, he's got great stuff. <laughs> Three triangles next. Two triangles pointing up towards the top. Those are going to become the ears. And then one pointing down like for the nose. So it's in that little muzzle area. Was it that said that they're on Instagram? Is it Maddie? Lauren. Lauren. Lauren, are you seeing um, all the animals that he does? Yeah, I saw one like playing the guitar. Yeah. <laughs> they're, they're fun. They're real fun. Okay, two lines coming all the way down. That's that long neck again, going from your head down to the bottom, pretty much. And then two lines that go from the top of the forehead down to the nose. And then a ton of lines. We know that shapes and lines make the best designs, but they also make pictures, depending on how you put them together. So we have some lines for the stripes, some random lines for the neck, and some whiskers as well. Okay, at this point, when you get this done, just hold on. I'm gonna give you some different ideas for expression of the face. You might go your own direction, but these are some different options. We're gonna make the face. This is just kind of the cutesy little smiley one. So two rainbow curves for the eyes and one mouth going up. But here are some other options as well. As you can see in the purple one, as I make those big circles and the pupil right in the center, the eyebrows point down towards the nose. And when that happens, it automatically makes a cat or a person look angry. The mouth also helps out by pointing down. The blue cat has its eyebrows up high and that makes it look like inquisitive or questioning or maybe surprised. And the green cat, the eyebrows are on the opposite end and he looks like worried, doesn't he? Mm -hmm. So you can see how the eyebrows and the way that the mouth is shaped can change the entire cat the way that the cat is feeling. Go ahead and make your cat face as well. Here's some of Gareth's work. Lauren, was this the IG account that you had? Um, uh, yes, I think so. Okay. I love that you searched that right away. You're like me, I do the same thing. <laughs> Hold your little kitty cat up by your face so that we can see it well. And I'll be taking a picture in three, two. Yeah, I like that, even just putting that picture in there. Oh, that's so quick, cool. Three, two, one.